what will probably end up being one of our last build projects, renovation projects of the season. Probably one weather of the last multi-day projects. Weather pending. Considering, yeah, weather pending, because you know, you don't to talk. Dude, the intro was my deal, then you get to talk. That's how it works. Oh, that's how it goes? It's like vlogging 101. What's wrong with you? It's nice having a team that can follow behind you and plow through everything while I'm focusing on other things. So, so we got the A team, brother. Dream team. Yep. Except you. Yeah, there's one in every crowd. Yeah. Insert tears here. Uh huh. But yeah, it's turned out really nice and I'm really happy. DK, Jack, Team Aquascape. We're on what will probably end up being one of our last renovation projects of the season. Probably one weather of the last multi-day projects. Weather pending. Considering, yeah, weather pending, because you know, you don't want to talk. Dude, the intro was my deal, then you get to talk. That's how it works. All right, Mr. Camera Hog, tell us what we're doing here today. So, you can see that we have a existing pond here. It's a pretty big pond that was done quite a while ago. So 20 gonna, years ago, yeah, to be to exact, be with pond sweep equipment. Yes, so it's gonna be a pond to pondless conversion. We are gonna rip out this entire pond. Everything's going, we're gonna keep some of the rock on site. We got, as you can see, Moose with Illinois Brick is bringing in our rock as we speak right now. And we're gonna keep a few of the hand-sized cobbles on site so when we can fill in in between our waterfalls and our stream. We're gonna be putting in a basin instead of a pond and we're gonna keep a stream. So today's goal is going to be tear out and we're going to try to get as much as we can today while they're permitting i know they said there's rain in the forecast so we're going to try to dodge the raindrops as best as we can but yeah we're going to rip out this pond today and then tomorrow we're going to come in we're getting four yards of dirt and we're going to fill in almost the entire pond it's 16 large aqua blocks so that basin is going to sit pretty much right here in this area because they're going to get a new deck next spring we'll have this on this waterfall for them next year awesome well time Let to get to work it next year yep time to get to work yeah a lot to do let's do this yeah This is a very impromptu and interruption to your video. Brian Helfrich and myself are excited to announce the Aquascape Hands-On Academy. And this is the hands-on area right here. This was originally created for the Sandbox Studio for the Aquascape Artists of the Year, but it's gonna be turned into a training academy for all people that wanna be contractors to come and learn with our crew. You're gonna see Chris, our crew, and how they build a one-day pond, and we're gonna show you how to do it in four hours. We're gonna have bleachers over here. People are gonna be able to get inside, get their hands dirty. And besides the 11 by 
16 or 8 by 11, whatever yep. we decide to do for the one day pond. We're also gonna put in fountainscapes and a pondless waterfall. Come to the Aquascape Hands-On Training Academy this winter and work with us in a sandbox, actually getting your hands dirty and learning how to have a career with water features. Don't you wanna tell them about the other day? It's two days! The classroom day. <laughs> one day is gonna be hands-on in the sandbox. The other day is gonna be how to actually run a water feature business. Everything you need to know, 30 years of experience, 26 years at the helm, building water features, designing water features, selling water features, marketing water features, promoting water features, everything to do with running a water feature oh, business. You, you said a lot in a short amount of time. And we're gonna have yeah. a lot in two days. <laughs> Register, check out the link below. And now, back to the vlog. Hey guys, we're back. As you can see, it is currently... How are we back if we've never left? Back to the viewers. Oh, I got you. It is currently 10.30. I think it was around eight o'clock when we started pulling the pond apart. So in a little over two hours, we pulled all the rock out. You can see we have our stockpile of rock here. But uh, as you can see, Corey and Steve are just finishing up pulling out the uh, gravel up in that top stream area. And then we can pull that liner out and put that in the truck. And then hopefully we can start digging this basin. Well, as you can see, we definitely got hit by the rain today. Kind of uh, be a little bit of a bust this afternoon. We're still really, really happy with what we've gotten done and accomplished today. Jack and I just talked. It's supposed to rain the rest of the day, so we are actually cleaning up some of the muck from the pond uh, that he tried to bury, but then he uh, drove out on it and turned, so it just turned uh, complete mush. Right now, he's ripping out the rest of the plants. We're gonna finish up demo, get everything kind of graded and prepped for tomorrow, and then we are gonna call it for today. So so unfortunately, not a full successful day, but it was a successful day. And then tomorrow we'll be back out here. We'll get the reservoir dug, get our liner in, start setting. By Friday, we'll have this thing wrapped up. So that being said, we will catch you when the weather's nicer. <laughs> what do you think, Jack? I was really hoping they were gonna be lying when they said it was gonna rain 100% and Never 12. trust a weatherman, and, uh, but once they're right. You know, like that's why I woke up. We thought it was gonna rain in the morning, and, and it wasn't. And then so we're like, okay, it's gonna be okay. And then we were hoping, and then it said it was like 30%, 40%, and then it jumped back up to 100. And I, I really didn't want to believe them, but I think I'm forced to believe them. Well, until tomorrow morning, Yeah. we'll wrap the day. All right. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We are back out in Carroll Stream, and as of yesterday, we unfortunately got rained out, and so I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of I take you out to over here. This is where our 16 large aqua blocks are gonna sit. So we're gonna mark out the basin in this area, and we're gonna start digging. Hopefully we can get this basin in relatively quick, and we can start rocking this pondless waterfall, and we still gotta do a little bit of grade work up there. We gotta pull that bio falls out up top, fix all that dirt up there, and fill in this where the stream was at before. So let's get cooking. What's going on, DK coming at you. End of day two, we got to uh, wrap up, head back to the shop, load up some medium-sized granite boulders for tomorrow so that we can dial in this stream. Jack's having a little bit of rider's block, if you will, uh, fighting some of the material we're working with. We're trying to mix some of the old with the new, and it's just not quite dialing in where we want it. So we are going to go back to the shop, get some stuff out of our own bin, bring it back, and then the stuff that we don't end up using over there We'll load up tomorrow and haul back to the shop. But uh, let me show you what we got going on. Got a few of the frame rocks for the first and the second waterfalls already set. We've got some of the basin already rocked in. And until tomorrow, Jack needs a hot cocoa, some good night's sleep, and he'll be rocking and ready for tomorrow. Right, Jack? Yeah. guys it's friday it's a balmy and, uh, 28 degrees outside a balmy 28 degrees out as you can tell the ground's a little frozen right now so hopefully it warms up and it won't be so chilly yesterday was a was a fun day very very brutal yeah brutal game plan for today get the waterfalls dialed in yeah so i think we're gonna come in and i'm gonna set all my waterfalls all the base waterfalls and then it's gonna be kind of just fill in between and then uh kind of work our way up the stream that way uh hopefully we are in good shape we'll probably be out here monday just finishing some things up we gotta take all this rock out of here the stuff that we don't use like i said before it's we're 
we're using both granite and this type of rock. And it's really not granite. It's more like pit run boulder, really. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's yes. split faced. It's rounded. It's really hard to work with. Yeah, for, for for me personally, it's been it's been kind of a challenge because I've never really worked with that stuff before. I've worked with you've seen it on our other videos, like all granite, moss rock, limestone, and Let's show the viewers. Look at it, but yeah, it's just so, kind of this granite that we normally work with. It's got some nice shape to it. This stuff we're working with, it's rounded on one end, split on another, very discolored. It's just very hard to uh, have the artist paint his picture, right? Yeah, that's the first challenge. Then the other challenge is like these viewing areas. So where we stand right now, there's actually gonna be a deck that comes pretty much out to here. So pretty much in line with Dan and then it comes to the corner of the house. So they're gonna have an upper deck up here and then they're gonna have a patio sitting kind of right where those boulders are at. So pretty much right there is the only spot where I can pretty much take advantage of the waterfalls for right now. Cause obviously I can't get four feet, five feet up in the air and to see where my waterfalls are gonna be at. Yeah, we're gonna strap you up with the excavator and hang you in the air. We could, we could try it. All right, cool. Well, but yeah, so uh, hopefully, uh, thank God for right now, the wind's not here. Say, so no snow. It's not sunny, snowing. So we got that going for us. Yeah, the sun's at least out. At least that answered our prayers. All right, let's, uh, let's build some waterfalls. Build some waterfalls. All right, let's do it. He's excited. Oh yeah. He's a whole new man. I'm a different person compared to yesterday, that's for sure. And why? Because we're almost done. And yesterday just like the weather and everything just killed me. So we are almost done, as Dan said. We were pretty much able to finish all the waterfalls up until the top spillway. We still have maybe two or three more rocks to set and then we'll be able to finish all our edges and then set all our retaining wall stones. So when we come in on Monday, we gotta add a few of his lights in all the waterfalls and then just kind of grade out everything. Where the pond used to be at, we're dance standing at right now, is gonna be a future patio. So we're gonna come in, kind of grade it out for, the, for them and get it at least ready so that next year when the patio guys come in, they could uh, go to town and get that patio in. Steve and Corey did a phenomenal job on this reservoir and all the edges. They did a great job. Yeah, it's nice having a team that can follow behind you and plow through everything while I'm focusing on other things. So, so we got the A team, brother. Dream team. Yep, except you. Yeah, there's one in every crowd. Yeah. Insert tears here. But yeah, it's turned out really nice and I'm really happy. Fingers crossed. Today's weather is like Monday because Monday's looking like it's going to be 30 degrees out and hopefully it's not windy. Yeah. But as long as the wind's out here, I'm fine. As long as it's sunny, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's the wind, the snow, the rain, 25 degrees. But hey, I don't want to be Debbie Downer. I don't want to be Debbie Downer either. I'm it's just uh, Friday. It's time to go have some fun with the fam. Yep. And call it a day, right? Hopefully everyone has a good weekend, but in, for you guys, uh, it, vlog land. Yeah, we'll vlog see you land. in 20 seconds. Yeah, exactly. So, so. see you in 20 seconds. <laughs> Thank you.
typical foreman, just sitting on the sun. Doing business things, you know? <laughs> so, everybody, we are, uh, we're done. We're finished. And uh, I just wanted to go through and give you guys a quick run through of what we actually have in this Pondless Waterfall. So, in this Pondless Waterfall is around 15 to 20 feet long. We came in with five tons of 18 to 24 inch granite boulders. We got those delivered by Illinois Brick. And then we used a few of his big older granite type rock that we pulled out of the pond. And we used a 22 inch spillway with a 5,000 gallon power pump. And this basin is actually, it's a pretty big basin. It's 16 large aqua blocks. So it equivalents to 512 gallons of water. So we'll be able to go a really long time without filling this thing up. And we used a 20 by 40 piece of liner. So all one piece of liner, no overlaps or anything like that. And turned out really good. Really happy how everything turned out. And I uh, just wanted to give you guys a few specs because I saw in the comments that you guys actually want to hear about that stuff. Before I forget, he he had five lights that we put in for him and then you can see there you can see all the wires run up along the side of the house he wants to bury those so he knows exactly where they're at that's why he doesn't nick them or anything like that so that's it